here, number one, Impulsive Nukes, Eric Ledford for Arlene and Jewel Siegel. Stable mate to Impulsive Nukes, the 1A Clock Watcher, also owned by the Seagulls with George Brennan. Number two, Cathedra.com, owned by Newman Racing, De Elegance, Silva, and Sampson Street with Miller. Number three, Pacific Baroness, owned by Eddie Lohmeyer and John Stoddard with Eddie Lohmeyer. Number four, Callista, owned by Tony Guadioso and Annalise Saunders. She's handled by Steve Smith. Number five, Electrical Art, owned by Grundy, McIntyre Stables, and Isabart with John Campbell. Number six, J.K. on Broadway, owned by the Three Brothers Stables with Mike Lachance. Number seven, I'm For Real, owned by The Dailies with Luke Wallet. Number eight is Come On Kitty, owned by the VP and J Stables, Ray Schnitker Drives. And number nine, Pinehurst Lady, owned by Amy and Linwood Higgins with Ron Pierce in the Sulky. Exacta trifecta betting here on race three, post time, six minutes away. These fillets all pointing for the Miss New Jersey final. Next week, 250,000 on the line. Pacific Baroness, the three horse, made a standstill break and is far behind the gate. Pacific Baroness lagging far back. And they're off from the outside clock watcher trying to show some speed. Callista gets away well. JK on Broadway to her outside. Cathedra.com is up close in the early stages for Miller. And Callista is now pacing on to the lead. Electrical Art came away comfortably in fourth. I'm for real. Two and a half lengths behind her. And clock watcher drops over against the pylons from sixth. Her stable mate, Impulsive Nukes, is seventh. Come on, Kitty gaps early, as does Pinehurst Lady. And Pacific Baroness will have to pace a ton just to catch the field. Opening quarter in 27-3. and three. So they're on to the backstretch. J.K. on Broadway muscles her way to a short lead. Callista yields readily to the pocket. And Miller has a handful with a headstrong Cathedra.com was up on the muscle. So he tips her to the outside. And Cathedra.com is brushing quickly. She's now second and challenging for the front. Further back fourth, Electrical Art is six lengths from the lead. I'm for real, two lengths further back fifth. Clock Watcher trying to get her cover, the half and 55 and two, and Cathedra.com has easily made the front. Come on, Kitty slides up on the inside in the sixth position. Now seventh on the outside, Clock Watcher, followed in eighth by Pinehurst Lady. Impulsive Nukes is ninth on the outside, far behind. Pacific Baroness can see them all, and Cathedra.com is moving powerfully on the lead here. She's three lengths in front. Up on the outside, starting to close in, Electrical Art is now second. J.K. on Broadway third, Callista fourth. Come on, Kitty trapped in with no room. Three quarters, one, 23 and three. They're at the top of the stretch, Cathedra.com under a confident hand drive, and she's still three lengths in front. Electrical Art is chasing on the inside from second. Clock Watcher trying to reach for third, looking to thread through traffic is Callista, but it's a two-horse race, Cathedra.com. Electrical Art with a late brush, but Cathedra.com was never asked, just wrapped up all the way, and she wins it. Electrical Art second, Callista third, 151 flat. Easiest kind of winner here, number two, Cathedra.com. Presidential ball, three-year-old filly, out of the run the table mare, Cathedra, owned by Newman Racing Stables, De Elegance Stables 9, Silva and Sampson Street Stables, Chris Ryder trains, and Dave Miller is in the sulky. Cathedra.com, coasting home in a career best of 151 flat, and she will be the favorite for the Miss New Jersey final, a purse of a quarter of a million, next Saturday right here at the Big M. Number two, Cathedra.com, 440, 260, 220. Finishing second, number five, Electrical Art, 280, 220. And third, number four, Callista, 280. Exact accommodation, two and five, pays 1180. And the 254 trifecta, $41.40. The upcoming fourth race, Superfecta Wagering, also Exacta and Trifecta.